Welcome, welcome on to another Pokemon TCG deck build and today we're looking at Giratina from Lost Thunder. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes, it is Giratina again. Everyone sees Giratina nowadays because it is such a fantastic card. Look at him. He's just, he's fantastic. 130 HP, so high for a basic Pokemon. That's insane. He is a Psychic type, hitting weakness on Mewtwo and Mew. Again, fantastic. It has three retreat costs, which is, okay, it sucks. It sucks because Pokemaniac can't fish it out and a skateboard and U-turn ball basically do nothing for it. It is annoying. It is the most annoying retreat cost to have in this game right now, but it's fine. Resistance to fighting, which is fantastic because you have things like Boswell running around that try and knock out uh, Pikachu and Zekrom and uh, Choo Choo. There are a lot of things to get rid of lightning types right now, so it's good to have resistance. And weakness to darkness. Eh, it's not too bad. You see a couple dark type decks running around. Not that many, to be honest, which is a bit weird. You don't really see that many. But um, so that's good. That's, that's alright. It's got one ability and one attack. It has Distortion Door. Once during your turn before you attack, if this Pokemon is in your discard pile, you may put it onto your bench, and if you do, put one damage counter on two of your opponent's best Pokemon. So it's a nice little bit of chip. It's a nice little bit of chip damage. We like this. Any, get, any damage is good damage. We like this. It's fantastic. And for two Psychic, one Colorless Energy, we have Shadow Impact, which is 130 damage, but you have to put four damage counters on one of your Pokemon. It can be Garatina, the one who attacks. It can be someone on your bench. As long as it has to go on someone, it has to go on someone. So be wary of your HP. You just have to be a little bit wary, but you know what? It's okay. But of course, Giratina is not alone. Let's see exactly what we are rocking with. First off, we are rocking with Dusknoor. Just one copy of Dusknoor from Cosmic Eclipse. It's not bad. It has, again, one ability, one attack. If this Pokemon is your active Pokemon and is knocked out by damage from opponent's attack, put four damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon any way that you like. So it's basically a walking spell tag. We love this. And guess what? If you put spell tag on top of him, you get eight damage counters to spread as much as you want. No effect of ability, no effect of anything else. You can literally just slap on eight damage counters in any way that you like. It's fantastic. And it has one for one psychic energy, it has psych up, which 60 damage, boo, hiss, etc. for a stage two and does 60 damage. It's there. But during your next turn, it does 120 instead. Eh, a bit better, but eh, eh, meh. It's just a man. It's just there just in case Garatina is not ready yet and we have to get damage out or if we want to get a nice little bit of spread afterwards with the abilities plus spell tag. It's there just in case. We also have two copies of Malamar. Everyone knows what Malamar does. Once during your turn, you may get a, a psychic energy from your discard, put it onto one of your bench Pokemon. We love Malamar. Malamar is probably the most used card out of any card in, in the expansion so far. It's fantastic. Any psychic deck or any colorless deck, any deck that needs psychic energy or includes psychic energy, Malamar should be in every single one of them in my opinion. He is great, it's fantastic. We love Malamar, it's fantastic. We also have three copies of Weezing and three and four copies of Coughing. You're gonna see why in a minute. Because once during your turn, when you discard this Pokemon with the effect of Roxy, you may put one damage counter on each of your opponent's best Pokemon. So you're kind of getting the idea of what we are doing. So Again, it's great. One Psychic, one Colorless, Balloon Burst, discards Pokemon, no cards attached to it for 90 damage. Yeah, okay. Not too bad. Can accept that, I guess. Nice little 180 if you do double damage. It's alright. Not too fussed about it. And we also have Mimikyu, again from Cosmic Eclipse. And Pokemon GX that have any damage counters on them, both yours and your opponent, have no abilities. Well, guess what? We have no GXs, so we're not worried. It's more of our opponent that should be worried. Because... It's any damage counters. We can basically spread damage counters as much times as we please with a combination of Dusknoor, Coughing, Weezing, and Giratina. It's fantastic. And if you're really in a pinch, two colors energy, tail trickery, 20 damage, and they are now confused. We're just looking at this for ability sake. If you're already using this attack, you are really biting the bottom of the barrel. Yeah, it's fine. But yeah, the whole point of this deck is that we are supposed to spread damage as much as we can, have Garatina up front, knock him out as much as we can on the active while spreading damage on the bench, again, as much as we can. If there's any GXs, focus on them. Mimikyu can lock them off immediately. We can do as much damage as we can. That is the main premise of this deck. Get Garatina to do as much as we can and then just spread around afterwards. It's fantastic. We like it. It's, it's great. So... For our trainer cards, we have two acro bikes, uh, draw one card of your top two and discard the other one. Two custom catches, one great catcher, four mysterious treasures because everyone here is a psychic type so this can be used to find everybody. One poke gear just in case we we're running short on support cards. Two Pokemon communications, one strand of punishment, two Viridian Forest, we have two Cynthia, 
two, one Cynthia and Caitlyn, one Erica's Hospitality, one Guzman Harlow, two Lilies, and four Roxy, which is what we need for coughing and wheezing. It's got two Pokemon that aren't Pokemon GX or EX from your hand, draw up to three cards. So you can draw six cards in total from discarding two cards, which ideally should be coughing and wheezing. And or wheezing. Can be two coughing or two wheezing, as long as it's one of them two. We're not really fussed. And 12 Psychic Energy. So with that being said, let's try and jump in and get this done. Okay, so Lightning, Psychic, and Dark. You know what? It used to be really easy guessing these decks. I think now, I'm not going to do it as much. Because you've got so many random combinations now. Everyone's using so many creative decks right now. It's insane. Like, so many matchups, so many... Just, there's so much to go with. It's, it's crazy. Right, so we start off with Coughing. Not ideal, but we do have the Roxy. Only problem is, do we, do we get Cocky with Roxy, use Mysterious Treasure, get rid of Psychic Energy, and have luck for three cards? Or do we... Okay, I mean, that's the case, then definitely get Garatino. Might have to take that L and just, um... Yeah, might have to take an L, just a little bit. Put Spell Tag on Coughing first. We don't get full effect of the ability, but at least we get to use Roxy while having Pokemon. Just in case Coughing gets knocked out, just in case, because you can tell with Psychic decks, well, with Pika Rom decks, should I say, it is very easy to get to energy. It's insane. Right, flick, flick, flick. Uh, Malamar. Okay, at least we get the other spell tag. Right, I don't really want to use Roxy for Malamar because that is not what we're trying to get right now. I wouldn't mind getting another Mysterious Treasure off to get rid of Great Catch to then use Roxy again. Um, oh gosh, only problem is I don't really want to use Roxy for Malamar. If we get another Cynthia, that would be fantastic. Um, I'm guessing Communications or Electromagnetic Radar. Tackle instead. Okay. Choo Choo or another Pika Room? So there's going to be another Choo Choo or not another Pika Room? It's one and two. So who knows? Who knows? Right. Okay. Cynthia. Fantastic. Just what I was after. Just what I was after. Needed that Cynthia. Right. Brilliant Forest. Double Garatina. There's Weezing. Should we put on Weezing? I mean, we're getting one hit KO anyway. I mean, nah, actually, yeah, get rid of Garatina. Can put on another energy, slap it on Garatina again. Just get nice and ready. Do I put on Weezing? I mean, I guess I could. It's getting discarded anyway. Actually, no, keep it. Keep it for Roxy. Might want to keep that for Roxy instead. Hopefully, Erica's Hospitality gets us some good cards. We've got no choice of otherwise, unless we get Roxy or Pokegear to get us Roxy. Choo Choo, Guzman Harla, Thunder Mountain. That is straight away our energy, their energy done. Right, Thunder Mountain. It's gonna be Thunder Mountain. I don't see I don't see why it couldn't be Thunder Mountain. Definitely gonna be Thunder Mountain. How do you guys feel about the new Sun and, uh, Sword and Shield expansion? I'm actually looking um really excited for it. Like Yeah, I think definitely, um, I think I'm definitely looking forward to the new Sun and Moon expansion. I mean, Sword and Shield expansion. I keep saying Sun and Moon. I keep saying Sun and Moon and I don't know why. Sword and Shield. I'm definitely looking forward to that new expansion. New V-Cards look amazing. I cannot, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Brilliant. Enough energy. Giotino. Get that pick in on the bench, please. Might as well start now. Ox Hospitality, please do us some good. Mysterious Treasure, okay, I'll take that. Um, these and go. Um, for Malamar, brilliant. How much energy do I have? I've got none. There's no energy, seriously? I could start the other one up. Might as well. One here, might as well. Just, just do it. Um, Inkay. 
yeah, I am definitely looking forward to the Sword and Shield expansion. There's so many good cards coming out, and I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited for this to come out. Like, the V cards look amazing. V Max cards look brilliant. I s generally think that, um, I think I said this in the last video, but I think um, it's definitely going to be, what's it called? Wait, does 150? Oh, well, I'm getting knocked out regardless. I'm, I think definitely um, V Max is going to work the same as EX cards. Because EX cards used to be like a basic Pokemon no matter how, um, what stage they were at. Like you'd have Charizard EX and all that type of stuff. And then they'd evolve into Mega EX, if anyone that had a Mega Evolution anyway. So, um, so yeah, so obviously I think it's going to be like that. And then it might be the same as EX's where if you evolve it, your turn ends straight away. Or maybe not, because it doesn't say if you evolve it, your turn ends. Because that used to be EX, the EX uh, trade. If you trade it without a uh, Tag Link or Spirit Link. It, your turn would end straight away so i mean maybe it might work that way but you never know i guess see only thing is now if they swap and i get knocked out that will be more easy for me four for the spell tag only problem is i need i need draw i need draw support do you need draw support Right, um, do I just stack up? Yeah, I might as well just stack up with the, stack up with that, to be honest. Um, put a guarantee up front. Chip the bench again. Come on, someone nice. Energy, yeah, sure. Take that. I guess, I guess. Keep chipping the bench. Just keep chipping away at the bench. I guess it always pays off in the end. Hmm. I think only thing I've got to say to this though is that the draw support is very minimal. I could get rid of Dustnor. Only problem is the, the amount of energy that it takes is so long. That's the only issue. If I had a way to either accelerate energy faster, so another Malamar line. Um, I wouldn't be too fast. You know what? Um, we might do that. This might be the first time on the channel, but I think we might have an interval of changing one or two things because I might get rid of um, of Dusknor. Possibly. Swap it in for another Malamar line, so that's 2 2, and then I have one more to spare for, I could say, what, another Cynthia Caitlyn, maybe? Possibly another one, but then what would I? Um, or another Cynthia. Cynthia would be useful. Hmm. Don't have to worry about Mew because its ability won't affect the bench. Don't have to worry about that. Even another spell card would be fantastic to have right now. Oh. All well, these things would be very useful right now. Let me just put up. I don't want to put up the new Garatina just in case. Oh, you know what? Take the risk. Just take the risk. Take the risk. There we go. Risk paid off. The risk has paid off. Right. Um, I'm going to say... Wait, if that's one... be 160. It'd be 100 damage left. You know what? Just... Yeah. Right. Oh, before anything. Definitely attach the energy back. Gosh, what a risk, what a risk, and it paid off so well. Right, this case, 80 damage. I could trade, I, yeah, see what happens, I guess. Or it could, they're probably gonna GX me anyway. At least we get three prizes from it though. Weezing, please be good to me, please be good to me. Communications for Malamar, I guess. And spell tag. Okay, you know what, that's not too bad. I'll take that. I'll take that. That's fine, I guess. Guessing it's gonna... Take one energy and swap over. So I'll be two prize cards. If I get rid of that Alolan Raichu, I've got it. But then 130, and 90 damage left. Spell tag will get me another 40. I'll be 50 damage off. I'll be 50 off. That's the only issue. <laughs> um, unless. I get a redraw somehow with Roxy, hopefully. There's four Roxy's in here, man. There's got to be here somewhere. Poke Gear as well. Come on, dude. you got to help me out. Um, 
Yeah, then retreat. Learn the Raichu. Take another prize. I'm gonna put up that Garatino that's already got damage counters on. Yeah, it's fine. Tandem Shock. I mean, I suppose if anything, I am saved the turn. Oh, actually, no, he's gonna GX me regardless. He's yeah, he's gonna GX me regardless, and then swap back over. I assume. Right, Brilliant Forest. At least that gets rid of that. Um, right, communications, wheezing, go. Um, for the other Malamar, that way we get to charge up quicker. Right, then evolve. Spell tag on you. Bring it back. Right, only thing I hope now is that I get another spell tag. Giratina, thank you. Other oh, Melamar, Giratina, thank you. Yeah, we might make a couple changes in between rounds. Might make a couple changes in between rounds. We still are, yeah, we're still improving. We're still improving this deck. This deck can be good. It's just we do have to work out the kings. Just a smidge. Just a smidge. So wait, what other support cards have I have I used? I've used one Roxy, Eric's Hospitality, and Cynthia. That's about it, right? Yeah, that's it. There's Lilies in here, there's three other Roxies, there's one other Cynthia, there's a Cynthia and Caitlyn which would probably be useless now because we don't have that second card to make any draw. Literally any supporter card besides Goose, besides the tag team ones would be useful. Right, um, let's just bring that out. Great Catcher would be useful as well. Great Catcher would be very useful right now actually. Um, yeah, Great Catcher would be very useful by now. Too bad we haven't got it. Um, I mean, the free retreat, I mean, there's no retreat, which means they've got no, um, yeah. No Zero Aura, which means they've got no retreat. Just card to discard. Right, fantastic. At least another Giratina is set up, but doesn't matter. As long, if we don't get rid of one Pokemon, if we don't get rid of this tag team, if they if they've locked themselves out, which I hope they have, I have a feeling they they must have added in Zero Aura. There's no way that you have not added in Zero Aura in this deck. It is that's shocking if you have not added in Zero Aura. If they haven't if they haven't added Zero Aura, that's shocking. But they have to reset stamp. I'm guessing because they've done it. I'm guessing, I'm, I'm guessing they've done it. Zero Aura's got to be there. Zero Aura has to be there. If he's not done Zero Aura, we've done this. We've just made it. If we've somehow do not done this without... There's no way. There's no way he's not done this. Kill well. Energy switch. Thunder Mountain's gone. If there's another energy switch, I'm going to be so annoyed. If there's two energy switch, I'm going to be so annoyed. Oh my god, tag switch. Oh my god, as if. As if you had double energy switch. Seriously? Oh my god, I want to see if this guy generally has. Oh my god, I want to see if this guy actually does have Zero Aura or even Tapu Coco Prism Star. If he doesn't, I'm going to be so upset. Because that's. It's like. That's just so. Oh my gosh, that's so. That's, it's just OCD for me. Alright, Absol, he's got the Muse, he's got all that. He does have Tapu Coco. He didn't use Zero Aura? There's no Zero Aura? Seriously? Oh man, yeah, no, nah, we definitely have to make some changes with this with this Garatina discard deck. All right, give me two seconds. Okay, so we've made a bit of changes. We've got rid of that Dust Snore line because we didn't even need that last round. What we're gonna try now, we're gonna add in another Malamar. So we've got three Malamar now. We're gonna add in another Cynthia, so we've got three Cynthia. So we're gonna add that, see what happens, and let's see how it goes. All right, hopefully this change will be a bit better. All right, Garatina. No support cards, which is upsetting, but I guess. Oh, we've got Mulligan, so that's something at least. Fire deck, I'm assuming. I didn't see the typing. Oh, Venomoth. Oh, it's a Venomoth deck. This is going to be very interesting. This is going to be so interesting. Right. Okay. Um, Serious Treasure for the Inke. Hopefully, I get 
a supporter card to do. Hopefully Roxy. Roxy would be useful. Inke, well, that will work. Get Malamar instead. Um, okay. Okay. Um, leave it like that. I guess leave it like that. So the next turn, Mysterious Treasure, Forest Psychic Energy, bring it onto Malamar. Um, Shrine of Punishment up top. And hopefully I get down to three cards, depending on what that this next draw is. Mm. Really does depend on what this draw this next draw card is. Hopefully it's Roxy. I really hope for Roxy, man. I really hope for Roxy. Roxy's so essential for this deck. Like just to pick at damage. You don't think it, but when the damage like picks up, you get worried. Like at first when it's like 10 damage, you're like, ah, okay, it's just 10, it's not bad. But then when it reaches like 80, you're like, okay, maybe, maybe take this into consideration now. Mm, okay. Well, if I get Mimikyu, I can lock off that ability so I can technically knock out anyone without worrying about draw. Huh. So it's a Venomoth deck. That's the only thing. It's a Venomoth deck, which means Coco's Trap's going to be in there somewhere. Um, right. Okay. Okay. I mean, Venomoth is okay. It's just really dependent on supporter cards. Like, it either needs to rely on Janine or Coco's Trap. One of the two, if not both, depending on which way you're swinging. Most people will probably do both to try and work it out. And use Miss Magius to kind of get uh, attention to strategy working, and then go use but you can technically use both of them. But I mean, would that work actually? I actually never sat there and thought about that. Would that work if you play because it says if you play this card, if you play Janine, then it works that way. If you play another card, if you play Koga's Trap, then it works that way. What happens if you play both? Do you snipe, do you snipe it and get resistance? Or that's actually a good. That's a good Mythbusters, actually. That is a very good Mythbusters. I want to start making Mythbusters like stuff anyway for TCG. Maybe see if that works. But that is really... That's actually a really interesting concept. I wonder. I, what I wonder. Hmm. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. I guess we'll have to see. Huh. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder. Maybe. Possibly. Okay. Well, it took too long, I guess. Alright, Mysterious Treasure for Psychic Energy. Bring in Malamar. Malamu. Right, and then evolve one up. Let's see, attach an energy, trying to punish red. And then we can get custom catch rolling. Please be a good card. Cynthia, brilliant. I'll take that. I will take that nicely. Right, mysterious treasure for the Garatina. I will take that happily. Um, I'm bringing, I guess, I can bring a Mimikyu to be honest to lock off that, lock off that pesky Oricorio. Um, and then use another mystery treasure for another, I guess another Inke. Yep, that means that Inke and a Malamar is in the prizes. If there's two here, okay. Um, right. Get out, distortion door. Right, fantastic. No draw for you after you're done, and no draw for Silvali either, because I really doubt he's he's working with healing either. They're trying to punish it, which means you're definitely not getting any abilities. That's actually meme Q is actually pretty useful. It's I realized ever since they brought out uh, Mewtwo and Mew, there's a lot of counters against Mewtwo and Mew. Like you have Mimi Q, if um, stadiums are locked out, you have Power Plant if you don't want to use Mimi Q. 
you, there's a lot of things that you can use. If you really want to be extra, you can use slacking that locks off abilities. There's actually a, quite a bit that locks off Mewtwo and Mew. And then if you haven't even got anything that locks off abilities, you've got Keldeo to lock off GXs. You've got Alola Ninetales as well. Like, a lot of things kind of lock off Mewtwo and Mew. I remember when there was a big hype that Mewtwo and Mew would be the card that everyone's going to fantasize over, but it just it kind of felt flat after, after like, about, what, a month? Like, everyone just kind of went, ah, Mewtwo and Mew, we've seen it, use another card. Like, it's weird. It's really, really strange. Like, it's weak to itself, which wasn't great. It's basically whoever got Mewtwo and Mew first, with, just to get the hit. Then, everything could lock it off. Cards like Giratina could get it on 1 HP and the Shrine of Punishment would just knock it out. Like, it's it's really weird. It was such a hyped up card and then it just kind of fell off. Kind of fell off and went flat. It was weird. Like, toolboxes you'll still see here and there. You you don't really see Mewtwo toolboxes anymore because it's just, it's just weird. It's really weird that you don't see stuff like that anymore. It's, it's strange. Like, I couldn't go, I remember everyone was going crazy about that card, like, about these cards, and just, all of a sudden, it's just, just fell flat. Huh, I wonder, I don't know. It's just, it's very strange. It is very, very strange. Right, um, if I'm doing Shadow Impact, I might as well put it on Garatina up front. Because by the time, by the time I get that sorted, what, what would this be? Shuffle Hand 2, Deck Neutral Pen. Could GX me. Could possibly GX me. I mean, might as well. Not. Communications, I'm guessing for Sil Valley, that has no ability no more. Alone Ninetales. Alone Ninetales for what? There's no stage 2s in this deck. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Huh. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, what does he bring now? I'm, I'm assuming Silvalli. I am assuming Silvalli. But yeah, back to what I was saying about Sword and Shield. Um, I I can't wait. I can't wait. V Maxes look very interesting. I know they announced Snorlax the other day. Snorlax had like 340 HP, which is groundbreaking. Like seems to be every expansion now. There's always someone capping up, the, capping up the ranks. Because um, Magikarp and Waylord capped it at 300, and now Snorlax caps it by itself at 340. Like just thinking about it, like even a even that, um, the Marshadow matchup move for two fighting and one colorless that was 160, that won't even knock it out. The Shrine of Punishment won't do a thing because it's not even a GX either. Like, it's insane. It will not, it can withstand so much. You have to literally GX it with Marshadow matchup to just about knock it out. Just about, like, by the skin of your teeth, knock it out. Like, that is insane. I've never seen a card that does such dirt. I think that's going to be one of my main cards. That and I want to see what Gengar does. Gengar VMAX. Because they do... It is half of... Um, it is half of... What's it called? Pokemon that can Gigantamax in Sword and Shield. And half of... Um, and half of random cards. It's mainly new cards. But I know they've added old ones. Like uh, Keldeo's got a V card. Victini. Um, Tapu Koko. Regirock. There's a lot that actually have... There's a lot that can actually mess around with it. Um, right, okay, so if that's okay, well, I can knock it out regardless. Add the four damage counters. Well, actually, not, yeah, add the four damage counters into Venomoth. I'll get me to 17 and then just do one more. Actually, I don't even have to do it. I could just literally knock him out next turn. I don't even have to worry. I could just aim for the Oricorio, to be honest. I could literally just aim for Oricorio. Hmm, maybe. We'll see. We will see. But um, but yeah, so like, there's a few cards that don't Gigantamax that have their card, like they have cards V Mac or V cards. Um, but yeah, it's, it is weird. But I think obviously Gigantamax cards will have V Max. There's no doubt about it because they've already done it. Like Snorlax, Lapras. There's they've announced a few that can that can V Max already. But I do want. I, I'm interested to see what Gengar, like Gengar's one, does as well. Because Gengar's just my favorite Pokemon. That's why. Because I'm just, I was just interested about Gengar. When I saw Gigantamax Gengar, I lost my mind. Like I, I, just, I lost it. I, I lost it. I still want to get one. I still definitely want to get one. Um, but it's just, it's just finding it. It's finding it in game. I want to try and work on getting um, what's it called? Um. Ah, oh, what's it called? 
the the shiny charm but then for that i have to complete the pokedex and all that stuff so it is a, it is a bit of a steep journey i know some people have already cleared it and have already get the shinies i'm a bit of a like late bloomer for stuff like that i know i should really should have just got it done like just just to quickly say like i finished it i've done it like i've got the whole pokedex i've got the shiny charm we can hunt for shinies i don't know why i just really forgot oh no wait uh, for Janine, prevent all damage on this Pokemon from basic from basic Pokemon. So, all, so basically, all he has to do is keep using Janine, and I'm screwed. Right. I see an issue now. I see a very big issue. Um, if he does Koga's trap, it'll do 90 more. He won't knock me out, which is the only thing. And he's only got a certain amount of Janines to go, and a certain amount of prize cards to do. So let's see if he does, he's already done one genie. If he does another, if he does another one, but by that time he'll already be healed. Crap. If he does another, if he does another one, then yeah. So he's only got basically four turn, four four turns to do it. Two prize cards to keep him in. Huh. All right. There's the other Venomoth. This is a bit, this is a bit strange, this is a bit, uh, this is a bit, um, here we go. If I get, I mean, even then you could do life forest. I need another, I need redraw to be honest. That's what I need. I just need redraw. Dude, seriously, not even gonna give me redraw. That's upsetting. That is, it's really upsetting. Not even gonna give me redraw. Not even gonna redraw me, dude. Seriously. Right, just, just get this set up. Just get this set. I think we might have added in too many coughings, too many wheezings. We might have added in too many. Yeah, I think we might have added in a bit too many coughings and wheezings for, for our liking. I mean, to be honest, you can still use Roxy to get rid of Giratina and just bring him back. Like, even that works. So, that is that is a thing. I think, in terms of changing the deck, you, we could... Um, what's it called? Wait, how many Roxy have I even used? I've used one Cynthia in a deck of... Oh my gosh. There's... Okay, let's look at let's look at this master. There's three Cynthias. There's one Cynthia and Caitlyn. There's one Heroic Hospitality, there's two Lilies, and there's four Roxies. They are 12 cards in here at least, at most, in 33. That is so close to half, and I've only found one Cynthia, which means there's 11 cards left. I have a third, I have a third of this deck at most full of supporter cards, and I've only got one this entire game. I've just realized. That is shocking. That is shocking. So from all of this time, literally, I've got nothing. I've got no redraw when I should have been when I should have been flowing in redraw. I would have better luck not using Cynthia to be honest. Like honestly, I would have had better luck not use. Why is it with Cynthia and screwing me over out of draw? Cynthia, the whole point of Cynthia is that you're supposed to use it for draw, but for some reason I get screwed out of draw every time I use a Cynthia. Like, this is, this is insane. Right. And that, I'm picking at the bench won't work fast enough. That's the only problem. It won't work fast enough. He's used Janine. He probably could, he could use Koga's Trap and just... Oh, uh, he could use Koga's Trap and just knock me out next turn if he has it. I mean, that works though. At least that's something. Okay. Yes, please. Just get me three cards. I'll take that. Roxy, Eric's hospitality. Yes. Stick it on everyone. Stick it on everybody. Stick it on everybody. <coughs> right. Um, energy. Garatino. How many Janines does he use now? That's two. I'm assuming he's got four. Cynthia. Yeah, I guess. I'm I'm gonna be that guy and attempt it. I'm gonna be that guy and attempt. 
because I am not losing another supporter card. We've just got all the ones that we need. Right, whoa. Whoa, we got the rainbow red. Whoa, rainbow secret rare. That's a thing? That's a thing. That's so rare. What the? No, I'm not even mad. That's a nice looking card. That is a nice looking card. We need another, we need another energy. I mean, stadium card out though. Five energy with this card. Which means we've got, which means we've got seven, no, four energy left. So that makes seven. Another three, two, five, yeah, five, six, seven, eight, no. Yeah, it's four, 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 four energy. Yeah, that's, that's right, I think. Right, so it depends if he uses Cobra's Trap or not, but I have a feeling he's only put in at best three of each, considering he's got he needs draw mechanics as well. Um, right, 200 damage, that's me knocked out. <sighs> Any differences now? Do I do Cynthia again and probably get screwed over and draw again? Or do I do... This is stressful. This is so stressful. Mm. I think using someone with free retreat would help very much. I think definitely using a Pokemon for free retreat would help a lot as well. Because see, this is why I put in Dustnor in the first place. Because he can't Garatino can't get energy up quick enough. If he keeps using Coca Strike, I can't get energy quicker than he's taking me out. I can't do it quick enough. There's literally no way for me to do it, like, quicker. I can't. Unless I need the other, unless I need the other Malamar, but then even then, it's like, it's a struggle. It's such a struggle. I could do Energy Switch to maybe, like, get that swapped over. But again, it's just really, it's really difficult to get it all switched over. I want to use Eric's Hospitality. I feel like Cynthia might help me a bit more. The only problem is I don't want to kind of get screwed over by a... Uh, okay, Roxy, I will take that. Yeah, sure, I'll take it. Um, by Forest, yes. Um, okay, right. Only problem is it really depends on how many Cobra's traps and stuff that he has. Because I could have... I could be at the end of the line right now. <laughs> right, spell tag to get rid of Oricorio, that'll get me two prizes. Bring Garatina back. Um, actually, I could do one to three and then add another damage counter there. Get Garatina back, slap it on the bench, and preferably the yeah, other Venomoth, because that's the only one that he's using, that he's prioritizing again. Because I'm pretty sure he's got energy to spare. Um, gosh, oh gosh. See, I'm working here with such a time limit now. He's got 17 cards left. He's used two Jinnians, two, jo two Cocos Traps. I'm assuming he's got one more of each. And I have a feeling he's going to use Janine now to lock me out. And Cocos Trap again to knock me out. Oh, okay, yes, yes. Um, right, I do want to use Roxy though. Yes, yes, actually, what am I thinking about? Use Roxy. Get rid of both of them. Bring out all the cards. Yes, spell tags, spell tags. Yes, brilliant. Alright, slap it all on, slap it all on. Get this damage rolling. Yes, and again. Alright, fantastic. Um, slap another energy up there. If we're doing it, wait, great spell tag up there. Great capture. Um, Mysterious Treasure and Custom Capture for Sil Valley to produce that retreat. Um, and if that's what we're doing, right, definitely put on another energy onto Garatina just in case. Have I added extra energy this turn? I think I have. Hang on. Um, attached like an energy to it. There we go. Um, I mean, yeah, I guess just in case. Just in case, you never know. Um, no. <laughs> right, that's going to take him a bit longer to retreat now, so I'm fine with that. 
Um, see, now we're really, we need to pick this ball up. We can still keep, we can still take this back. That's already three prize cards in there. So that, then knock out Savali. Um, 130, by the time he gets that card out. By the time he gets enough to either retreat or do damage, I'll be fine. Um, spell tag will then knock him out. I think we got it. I think we might have pulled this back. I think we might have possibly pulled this back. Garatina, get me another energy, please. And also chip the bench while you're at it. Right, chip the bench while you're there. See, that's what I mean, dude. You need just that one card to help it change the game around. Right. Maybe the way we're going to win this is if we do everything but hit the Venomoths. That might be a better approach. Yeah, that might definitely be a better approach. Right. Turn energy to go Tino. Turn energy to go Tino again. I think we might have... Wait, so that would be two, four, five. We'd be one off. But you know what? I'm fine with that. I'm content with that. Um, sure, stick in the bait. <laughs> I just want to stick. I want to kind of bait him into getting Garantina. I want to bait him. If it doesn't work, then that's fine. But I just want to kind of bait him. If I use Rock Seed, then that's another energy spread. Work for me. Draw up to six cards. That'll be six. Should leave me two cards left. Um, I mean, I could even use Roxy to get one off because that's all I need to be honest. All I need is one to be honest. Communication. Oh, never mind then. Never mind. See, it's weird to think one card will change the game. All right, announcement time. Okay, Giratina discard. I like it. I do like it. It is very fun to use. There are some things I do want to change though. Mimikyu is great. Locks off GXs. I think if Mimikyu wasn't there. That last game would have definitely not been in our favour with Silvalli and Oracorio getting done. Um, I mean, to be fair, we they would have got knocked out anyway. Great catch up was perfect. Um, Steel Treasure, perfect. Poker Gear, didn't see it. Pokemon Communications would have been great. Um, Shrine of Punishment, again, worked great for the early game. That got us our damage counters up for Mimikyu. Um, I think the only problem that I'm having right now is draw support. I do want to add in other cards, but only problem is if I add in the Dene, yeah, it discards, and that helps me in terms of Giratina and energy if it comes into that. But I don't want to have it because Shrine of Punishment would then affect the Dene. That means I have to get rid of Shrine of Punishment, which means early game Mimikyu would basically not work. Um, especially if they're inactive. Because if they're inactive, I can't pick them with Giratina yet. So that makes it a bit more difficult. Um, Definitely get rid of one we or at least two coughings and a wheezing that gets me three extra uh, draw that gives me three extra slots to put in Maybe add in energy switch and a normal switch because there was times where I really needed to switch around Pokemon just for to use Malamar properly so either do energy switch or um, Normal switch depending I think energy switch might be a bit better Energy switch might be a, might be a tiny bit more better. I think not sure. Might have to mess around with that and see. Maybe add in another Poke Gear. Because I really needed to find those supporter cards. Um, Roxy with the Weezing combo worked brilliantly. I can't I can't get over how brilliantly that worked. That chipped away at damage. See, that's what I meant. It chips away at damage before you realize it. You're really in a pinch. Acrobike can work great in a pinch. Um, again, when we had that Cynthia or Psychic Energy trade off, that just boosted Malamar. If we get that and then have Garatina again, just works great. Even if you have another card in coughing or wheezing, you can just get rid of them. It doesn't you don't need them for Roxy. Like it it does help. Like what I said before, you can have like one coughing, one wheezing, or two of each, or even one of them and a Garatina. And then discard all of them. And then Garatina could come back and then you can just do Malamar that way. Uh, there's a lot of ways to discard around this deck, and there's a lot of ways to either chip at damage or to get Garatina boosted. It is very easy to for Garatina in this deck but only problem is I'm only thing that I'm having is draw that's the only problem that I'm kind of having right now I might get rid of one energy just to kind of keep the deck open I think that's that's kind of it 
I think that's kind of it. This this deck is close. It can be a really good, in my opinion, a top tier deck. In my opinion, I think this can be a really good top tier deck. That's just my opinion anyway. But what do you guys think? If you guys have any opinions, let me know. If you guys want me to add anything in or take anything out, please let me know. I'll see what I can do. If you guys want me to make any decks that you think would be fun to see, please let me know again. I'll try my hardest to get it done. And as always, always click like and always click on the video. You guys always welcome back. And I'll see all of you in the next video. All right, guys, take care. And I'll see you all later. Okay, bye.